Hi, this is Gene Bosler. I am in West Houston, Texas, and we're examining a water oak. It's uh, December 2012, um, and I'm taking a fresh look at a tree that I looked at a while back, probably uh, 2011. And I'm going to look at some uh, defects that I think are significant enough to warrant an arborsonic um, or other um, more thorough structural evaluation. And the main thing I'm looking at here is, uh, please ignore, this is just sand. I guess it's fill in from a bare spot in the lawn. This is just uh, thatch from mowing. But this is indeed dead. And it's quite... I don't know if the sound difference shows up, but uh, this... This is so solid and sound, and this ring's hollow. So this is callous wound wood, and then it works its way like this over to here. This is dead. This is dead. Solid, 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 starts to ring hollow, and then hollow. Okay, over here on this side is another, there are some, uh, some, some wounds here. There is another decay spot here, and this is in the ridge, or this is in the valley between these two buttress roots. This is callus wood, and this is decay. So, I don't know if this is two separate buttress roots. It looks like it to me, but it's mostly callus wood, so it's difficult for me to say. It's not important. It's important to note that, this, that the defect is here. I also want to show why this is significant, because this, this is the uh, back side of the lane, and it's... It's a significant lean, having been pruned over the years away from the wires. So it leans. There it is in frame of reference uh, to the uh, side of the garage. So the hollow spot is on the back side of the lean. There is one Phytophthora bleeding canker here. There are numerous spike wounds, so the, um, the line clearance pr uh, crews uh, used spikes to work this tree. Um, that's bad. I don't know that it has any immediate uh, implications to structure. And pre-existing hardware right there. I need to note that too. Mm, not going to be able to see that on the video, but the next big defect is right here where there is quite a big cavity, uh, fist size opening, no telling how big the cavity itself is. There's a ton of old uh, sap sucker damage uh, throughout the tree, both on the trunk and uh, on the scaffold branches. I would want to use the Arborsonic Aloft up around above and below that opening right there and then down here at the base. Let me take a look at the, let me show you the tree from another angle which is power lines back half of the tree pruned over the years right and service drop goes diagonally along the next to the tree so we have power lines there here and then a diagonal set of service drop lines here um, I would say even without the uh, uh, arborsonic I would call this a moderate risk moderate to high. This is quite extensive. I'm going to put my foot here. My, my boot is uh, 12 inches from, from uh, toe to heel. 
So this is about 16 to 18 inches from here. Let me back up a little bit. From here over to here, that's the hollow. 16 to 18 inches. There you go. Uh, welcome any 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 comments.